Interference with prices is another manifestation of state interventionism in the economy, and you will experience it on many occasions and in many contexts in your future entrepreneurial lives. Numerous prices are not the ones the market would freely set. Instead, the state sets them by decree law, manu militari. Interference with prices occurs when, by commands and regulations, prices or ratios of exchange different from those the market would set are established for the future. Such prices are imposed using all of the coercive machinery of the state. The state coercively sets two types of prices, maximum prices and minimum prices. My good friend Ricardo Zuluaga, who is Venezuelan, offers this delightful definition of maximum and minimum prices. Maximum and minimum prices are measures destined to give the wrong information to the market, either so that it will not produce what is needed, in the case of maximum prices, or so that it will produce too much of what is not needed, in the case of minimum prices, and all with the laudable, patriotic, democratic aim of confusing speculators. In theory, maximum prices are intended to protect the buyer or consumer. Maximum prices are established with the aim of permitting consumers to purchase as much as they wish at a price lower than the price the market would set. That is why maximum prices are so attractive to consumers and why prices are manipulated in this way by demagogues. Each day you buy milk, bread and so on. Imagine you were asked democratically would you approve if the state set a maximum price of half of what you are now paying for everything you buy? Everyone would answer, of course, that would be fantastic. Note the temptation for politicians to impose such measures and for consumers to request them, or both at the same time. Well, the intervention of the state is so schizophrenic that it does not settle for establishing only maximum prices, lower than potential market prices, to benefit consumers. Why should the madness of state intervention stop there? Why not go one better? We will set not only maximum prices, but minimum prices as well. What is a minimum price? A minimum price is a price floor, and its purpose is to benefit the seller. Minimum prices are always set higher than potential market prices. So, the aim is to favor sellers and allow them to sell as much as they wish at a price higher than the price the market would set. Now, imagine I held another democratic referendum and asked, who is in favor of receiving a price higher than the market price for everything he or she sells? For instance, higher than market wages for the services of labor. Everyone would earn more or be able to sell at above the market price. Well, everybody would say, as a seller, I am in favor. I think it would be wonderful if there were a minimum price for what I sell. Note the schizophrenia. We are all simultaneously buyers and sellers of something. All of us. Together we comprise the market. As buyers we want maximum prices to be established so we can buy what we desire at a price much lower than the potential market price. However, as sellers we want minimum prices to be established so we can sell at a price much higher than the potential market price. And when a politician makes such an offer, everybody falls for it and says, fabulous, what a great idea. This is a true political leader. Let's vote for him. Of course, the left is socially aware and knows what must be done. Do not be foolish. Think a little. How will it be possible on a social level for us as buyers to have maximum prices and a guarantee of the ability to buy as much as we want at prices below market prices and as sellers for us to have minimum prices and a guarantee of the ability to sell as much as we want at prices above market prices. Listen, how is such a thing going to be possible if as buyers we are paying a seller? Well, now that we have introduced the issue of the schizophrenia inherent in price interference, we will examine in greater detail from the perspective of economic theory, the effects of the adoption of both types of prices.